Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on April 27th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. I apologize, we missed yesterday's. But this one, today, is an important. Look at that large plasma filament eruption. Wow. That produced a CME off the northern side of the sun. Amazing images coming out of the Solar Dynamics Observatory. We have two incoming Earth-facing sunspots. And look at that one that just formed out of nowhere at the same time as this plasma filament rip. And look at that huge whip. And it looks like it was connected to the southern region. As we saw just plasma filaments erecting off of the whole western side of the sun. Looking here at that southwestern limb, you can watch the little solar plasma tornado form right here. Two sunspots forming right there before our eyes. Or sorry, the one formed before our eyes. And as well, we've got an equatorial hole. So very busy day for our sun. This is the most action we've seen in a long time and it's all coming at once. Plasma filament eruption, coronal hole, and one, two, three, count them, possibly four incoming sunspots. We're just going to have a look here at the northern hemisphere of the sun. Last few images there showing the plasma filament eruption. Looking here at our heliosphere. Watching this left side, incoming sunspot. As well as some more activity coming around the equatorial region. But really observing this brand new sunspot that just came out of nowhere. I mean, look at that. Wow. That is a solar storm. Watch this. And those are in the last few images. There are more images to come, so stay tuned to the Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And if you ever want to check it out in the live stream as well, you can get an update there. We're going to look here. This shows the polarity fields of the sunspot. You can see that new sunspot forming like a hurricane. Unbelievable. Let's get to earthquakes here. The last 24 hours from around the world to the largest earthquake, 5.4 here in Papua New Guinea at a 10 kilometer depth, as well at 4.7 Papua New Guinea. Moving westward into the Philippines with a 5.1, 89 kilometer depth, sorry, 69 as well, a 4.3 here, Indonesia. Moving southward into New Zealand, seeing a lot of activity there as well. We were observing last night, 4.9 today, and as well, a 4.3 today. 305 kilometer depth. So a couple deep quakes. New Zealand, South America as well, seeing some action. Last night with a 4.6 in Peru, 4.9. Three here in Argentina, as well, 4.2 Argentina, pretty deep earthquake, and as well, 168 kilometer depth earthquake here in Chile, 4.2. Northwood here with the 4.6 in Peru. Also observing a bit of a spread here in the earthquake swarm, Dominican Republic, Caribbean Plate, Looking here at a sizable 4.1 in Puerto Rico, as well as 3.7 Dominican Republic. But these earthquakes seem to be spreading out both sides, west and east and north. And then seeing minor rumbles here in Oklahoma. And there's more than just these. There were a few last night as well. 
Blackwell, Oklahoma. As well across the Cascades today. 4.0 here in Searless Valley, California. Also watching increase in activity across Alaska, but pretty spread out. 4.8 rang out last night, pretty deep earthquake. 228 kilometer depth, sent out tsunami watch. So stay aware and prepared in this region as these deeper quakes are moving further north to the North America plate. Even those small quakes there on the border with Canada. As well, keeping an eye on Hawaii. 4.3 here recorded in Japan today. Up into the Eurasian plate. 4.6 here in Tajikistan. 4.3 in Iran. 10 kilometer depth. Pretty busy map for 24 hours on for earthquakes. Let's have a look at the last seven days. Still observing a deep earthquake movement event, for say. So we're also seeing a lot of volcanoes erupt. A lot of notifications coming out. All these deep earthquakes, northwestern plate, we have to stay aware and prepared. Subduction zone, cascades, especially. We've got the deep quakes on both sides right now. As well, stay aware and prepared. South Sandwich Islands. Around the world, that's the last seven days for earthquakes. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here, where we observe the most recent up updated volcanoes. We have Dakono in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, as well as Sangay in Ecuador, Era in Japan, Popo in Mexico, Klitschewskoy in Russia, Asosan in Japan, Sebenkaya in Peru. Lots of pretty sizable earthquakes as well, Ebico in Russia. So that's about 10 volcanoes being updated today. Observing as well, Tropical Cyclone 1E is still alive. And it's about to be swept up into the strong high pressure ridge that is over the Pacific Ocean right now. But it's got a deep lower level trough. And as you can see here in the last few images, it is still very dense and big. We'll see what happens over the next 48 hours as it crashes into that high pressure ridge. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, starting out here, Calgary, Alberta. As we do have some warm temps moving in, definitely some spring like conditions straight across the nation in the five day forecast. So spring is here and maybe even straight into summer. Watching some equatorial heat increase. Five day forecast here, cool nights, but definitely up to 19 degrees Celsius later in the week. Watching as this low develops for the United States in the coming days going to bring an extreme weather event to again, central United States and across Southeastern right up the seaboard. Watch for very intense storms across South Carolina, North Carolina, moving up into New England. This will be a very big rain and hail event. Atmosphere is very charged up. It's all I can say. Strong high pressure ridge here north in the Hudson Bay, scooting along these low pressure systems straight to the United Kingdom. Watching cooler temperatures move in and as well, a lot of rain, a lot of moisture moving in from the Atlantic right now. Kind of mixing with that low pressure system that was east of you guys in Finland. Five day forecast, you probably won't see the sun in the five day forecast, United Kingdom. Overlooking Russia. Things starting to warm up there as well. Across Pakistan, India, 
watching temperatures rise. As well across Iran. So yeah, we're definitely shifting into uh, possibly a quick summer as these temperatures are really starting to rise. No major weather events to talk about right now, no cyclones. Only the monsoon rains that are moving in to the Pacific Midwest and as well into Burma and Thailand, eastern India. Watch for heavy rains over the next five days. Australia, mostly dry north of the continent, but watching a strong low move in Wednesday to Thursday. Going to bring quite a rainy and cold event straight across southeastern Australia. Observing the Pacific Ocean. Not much to talk about. A large low pressure system here affecting Argentina and the east coastline over the next coming days. But watch for it to quickly scoot into the South Atlantic. Heavier rains, Venezuela, northern Brazil. Pacific Ocean, strong high-pressure ridge. Same thing in the Atlantic. We leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. Thank you all for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button like button and help support the channel thanks for watching stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye bye